Well, happy Friday, students. This is a quick video on how to play a game called Saki Bachi. Um, so I've had some requests here on, to create some more content on using socks at home. So this one's one you can play in a hallway um, or in a room in your house. So as you can see, I have three different socks here I'm folding up. And so this would be for a game for three players. You would need one sock for each player. If you were just going to play two on two, you could do, each person would have two socks. Um, you can Google how to play a real bocce ball, but obviously we're gonna have to throw out a target here. The Italians call it a pallino um, in the game of bocce. So I'm using a paper towel. You can create a pallino or a target ball. It's just a smaller ball than the socks. Or I have a little human at home, so I have little socks. I'm using a baby, one of Gus's socks there. I'm going to roll that in. That actually worked really well because it was a little bit heavier than the paper towel. So now when you play, you're going to want to establish, hey, there's Gus hanging out, having a little play time in the sunshine. And I'm sure Otter will be jumping in here shortly to join us and to be the fun police and try to steal our socks. So I'm identifying where everyone should throw from. So I'm using the doorway in the far back there. So there's the Polino, the target ball. My first throw was no good. It hit the ledge right in that hallway. So every person would throw from the same spot here. And let's say the third person goes, oh, the Mario sock got the closest. So whoever threw the Mario sock then would get one point. And you can determine if you want to play to five, you can play to 11, you can play to 21 if you want a longer game. So here we're picking up the socks. We're going to do a second round. Whoever scored last round would throw first the... Polino, that is. So go back using the same spot, that back door frame in the hallway. So I toss out the sock. Oh, Otter helping out. He caught it. That was the tiny little Polino. Let's pretend everyone throws really close. Again, with a little help from Otter there. He's going to put all the balls real close for us. Oh, which ball is closer? So what you can do to figure that out is have... One person use their feet and measure to figure out which ball is the closest to the polino or the little target ball. I'm counting them off. Oh no, we lost one. Otter ran away. But the Mario one was closest, so they would again get another point. So that's how you play Saki Bachi. Give it a try.